welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are doing the collab. If I could only keep 10 palettes, which palettes would I keep? We are doing this with a bunch of lovely ladies. I am in group one. There are two groups and I am also doing a giveaway. So if you want to be part of my giveaway, you will need to be subscribed to all of the ladies in group one. I will have both of the group's playlists listed down below in my description box if you um, want to peruse those description, um, those playlists after you are done watching my video. Let's get into the video though. Um, we will talk about the giveaway later. So first I want to thank the host of this collab. Her name is Gloria. She is with, she is, her channel name is Beauty After 50. So thank you so much, Gloria, for putting this collab together. You did a wonderful job. And yeah, so if you are new to my channel, my name is Jennifer. I do lots of stuff related to makeup. I love everything about makeup and I also unbox subscription unboxings and sometimes I also talk about mental health issues. So if you're into that I would love if you would hit subscribe and hit that notification bell and set it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. So what I picked out 10 palettes, my thought process was I wanted to do half neutral and half colorful palettes. So what my process was is um, I wanted workhorse palettes. Like a lot of my favorite palettes are in here, but not all of these palettes are necessarily my quote unquote favorite top would be in my top 10 favorite list of palettes but I would definitely get a lot of use out of them the first let's go over my neutral palettes first what I wanted was a warm tone neutral palette so I picked the color pops going coconuts palette it has a lot of warm tone neutrals in it and this would be good for any season really so let me get okay those are some swatches I love ColourPop shadows they are some of my favorites so I really wanted something with some warm tone neutrals, a palette with some warm tone neutrals. So I would often use this. I use this a lot. It is one of my favorite palettes to use. So yeah, of course I would throw it into one of my favorite. My, what, what would I pick if I could only pick 10 palettes? So next I wanted some cooler toned neutrals. So I chose my Stone Cold Fox from ColourPop. Yeah, you're going to see, a, well, not a lot of ColourPop, but you will see a few ColourPop. So this has a lot of of choices in it so this is also why I chose this palette because there are so many choices and it has a black in it as well and a silver in it but you will see a black and silver also later on but it has just a lot of choices you can wear this any time, any place, but it has those, like I said, those cooler options for you. So that is why I picked Stone Cold Fox. So 
I ha I couldn't do this without doing like my most used palette, which is again ColourPop is the Making Moss palette. I use this like. I don't know if you know, but I am agoraphobic. That's why I talk about mental health a lot on my channel. So I don't go out a lot. But when I do, I like to use this palette. It is a mauve color palette. And it, it is pretty neutral, but it has these super sharp shadows in it that are really nice. And... I just really like the mauve neutrals. Let me get up close and let you see those there with the super shocks. And this is sort of my going out just to, I don't know, go to the doctor's office or something palette. just if I'm going to be running errands or something like that. So I use this one quite a bit. Now, another one of my favorite palettes, and yes, I call this one a nude palette, is my Natasha Denona Retro Palette. It is what I am wearing on my eyes today, and it is has all of these beautiful pink and rosy and berry tones in it and yes I do consider this a neutral palette and I get just beautiful looks and I Natasha Denona makes some of my favorite favorite shades and let me swatch for you what I have on my eyes. Today I have Vivian. I have Go Go. I have Groove. Let's see. I have, let's say, Jude. I have Glitz. And I even have some Amara on. So all of those shades on my eyes. And it is just, I could not, I couldn't, I couldn't, <laughs> what am I trying to say? I could not put this on my list because this is definitely one of my favorite palettes. And if I was going out on a date, what palette would I choose? This is also one of my all-time favorite palettes is the ABH Sultry palette. She is pretty well loved. I love the ABH Metallics. This also has a black and it doesn't have a silver in it per se, but it has a really good black. Oh, that is a black black. But let me just swatch. Oh, it has a really good gold. Just, okay, come into focus. Look at that gold. It is just beautiful. It's like I'm trying to sell these to you or something. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> but yeah, I love, if I'm doing a really, like if I'm going out somewhere, like out, out, I would wear this palette for sure like getting ready to go somewhere nice that is the palette i'm taking okay those are all my neutral palettes 
let's get into some color. So I picked five neutral and five color shades. Now, if you know me, you know I like some grunge, some green grunge. So I pick another from another one of my favorite indie brands is Ace Beauté. This is the Tropical Vibes palette. This is what she looks like here. I love me some green grunge. So I wanted to pick a palette that had some, oh, look at that. If you don't, if you know, you know. Some greeny, grungy, dirty looking greens. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I just love those colors. I don't think I have to get any closer to show you those. But I had to put this in here. It is not, I have to say, it is not my favorite Ace Beauté palette. But I want. I had to add some green grunge to this list. And this is definitely my favorite grunge palette. So... I had to add this to the list. Okay, so I had to pick a colorful summer palette. So I had to think, what is my favorite colorful summer palette? And I thought of No Man Cosmetics, and because they are another one of my favorite indie, pal indie brands. And I thought of the Cartagena Magica palette, which is this palette. It has some beautiful oranges and greens and purples and reds in it and another great gold in it. So oh I just I just thought I really, really, really want a summery, colorful palette. And let's see if we can do that close. That is a beautiful yellow gold there. And I wanted some purples as well. So that is a really beautiful summertime, colorful palette. So, then I thought of, well, I just want some colorful palettes. And I want some subdued colors. Not really neutral colors, but some subdued colors. Maybe, okay, I, I didn't even show you the name of it. This is Blend Bunny Cosmetics, the Dollhouse palette. And... This is what she looks like. It has some pastels in it, which are probably my favorite pastels, I would say. It has some light shimmers. It has some dark colors in it, and it has some more shimmers in it. And I wanted, like, if I wanted to do a subdued, just a subdued colored look, I thought I would get this pan. Alright, get this palette. So let's do some swatchy swatches here. Oh, this has the most wonderful dark purple in it. And what's great about it is there's these color stories. You just go down the line here and pick like here's an orange color story. Here's like a blue purple color story. Here's like a, a sort of pink color story right here. Here's sort of a green color story right here. So you, they've got it set up for you just like that. So like here are some swatches right there. That's why I really like that palette. And then in that same vein is another Blend Bunny palette called the Surge Palette. When I really want some color, 
So I will go to this again. It's not like green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, uh, green. Well, more like yellow, green, year. You just follow that. It has some more pastels, some neons. No, these are mid-tones. These are darker tones. These are your shimmers right here. And here are your neons if you want neon colors. So this palette has you set for all of that. And the last palette I had, I wanted a fall color. Colorful palette. So I picked the It's a Mood from ColourPop. Yes, again, from ColourPop. This is the color story. It is just filled with beautiful jewel tones. I mean, look at these colors right here. You could just, oh, I gotta swatch those. Look at those colors. So yeah, I wanted to put this in here because it just has a great, I mean, you could wear this all season long, but it has some great jewel tone colors. So that's why I picked that one. So that was my kind of thought process and what 10 palettes would I choose if I could only keep 10 palettes. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. Okay, if I could only pick one palette out of all of these, oh, that would be hard. Um, let me think here for just a minute. Okay, if I could only just keep one palette all of the, out of all of these, I would probably go ahead and stay neutral and pick the Stone Cold Fox palette. So remember that question because it's gonna come up again. So, okay, on to the giveaway. Okay, it is going to be, like I always do during these collabs, a mystery giveaway that usually everything is going to be makeup or skincare related. So for the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to everyone, including myself, for in group one. So, you have to be 18 years or older. You have to be live. You have to have an address in the 48 states, United States. Um. So yeah, in the lower. What am I trying to say? In the U.S., the continental U.S. So only in the 48 states. Um. I am not responsible for anything once it leaves my hand. Um, if it gets broken or goes missing, I am not responsible for anything. Everything I have bought, YouTube, and any of these items are not affiliated with this giveaway. I bought everything myself. And yeah, so let's do a question for this. Like I said, it was gonna come up again. Let me know in the comments if you could only keep one palette, eyeshadow palette, um, if you have eyeshadow palettes, what would that eyeshadow palette be? Okay, if you don't have any eyeshadow palettes, what makeup item would you keep? Or skincare item would you keep? So, anything like that okay and yeah i think i got it covered this is the date that the giveaway will end i will make a separate video announcing the winner on that date probably around five o'clock central so be on the lookout for that and that is everything so all right Thank you for watching, and I hope you are having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Please go ahead and like this video if you don't mind. It really helps me out. And 
Um, like I said, I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you are not, I hope something comes along and kickstarts your day so that you can have a wonderful, fantastic day today. If you are having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you and sending you out those good vibes. Just remember to stay strong and stay healthy and stay safe out there. And okay, I will see you in another video soon. Okay, just stay well until then. Goodbye.